Jamaica's Brianna Williams and the USA's Shakari Richardson are now on the same team. Plus, we take a look at Brittany Anderson, world silver medalist in the women's 100 meters hurdles and the great Jamaican Omar McLeod out on the town. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, we drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. After this sports analysis, where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, ready? Yep, good to go. Well, it's official Jamaica's Brianna Williams and Shakari Richardson are now being managed by the same management company. And that company is HS International Sports Management Inc., better known as HSI. Uh, they announced recently, uh, they are pleased to announce world champion Shakari Richardson at its Shakari has retained HSI for management and agency representation. Managing director of HSI, Emmanuel Hudson, said of the signing, quote, we look forward to assisting Miss Richardson on her path to obtaining all her ultimate goals. This young woman is a bright light, as can be seen in the young girls and boys who look up to her. Shakari's next decade will be fruitful and we are pleased she chose us to be a part of that journey, end quote. On their website, HSI says they were founded in 1996, headed by Emmanuel Hudson. HSI represents some of the best athletes in the world, as you can see here. Britton Wilson, Christian Coleman, Nahelia Mohammed, Michael Norman, uh, of course, English Gardner. Uh, Michael Cherry and the only Jamaican on their roster as far as I'm aware, Jamaica's Brianna Williams. So Brianna Williams and Shakira Richardson are now being managed by the same team. Royals, do us a small favor. Our statistics tells us that 61% of you who come to the channel often have not yet hit the subscribe button. Please, today, take the time out and subscribe. So, what do you think of Brianna Williams and Shakira Richardson being managed by HSI? This episode of Peter Lloyd World is sponsored by our soon-to-be-released series, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth, where we discuss all things regarding wealth, all things that lead to a higher and better quality of life, a truly important thing, not just finance, but nutrition, exercise, health, and all things that will improve one's way of life. It's just our way of giving back to you. 37,000 of you are here with us at Peter Lloyd World, and you are track fans, enthusiasts, and myself and the team, we said we wanted to come up with a way to give back. So this is the best facts that we could come up with to improve your lives. These are things that most of us here at the team, we live by and we just want to be able to give back to you. Thank you very much for the support, people. It means a lot. So look out for the soon to be released series, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. So let's talk about track and field. Let's talk about Shakari Richardson. The hits just keep on coming. Uh, Shakari Richardson was named uh, on the Forbes 30 under 30 sports list. That's a huge deal, people, um, that 30 under 30 list. It's something that many, many people, uh, it means that she is a top influencer within the world of sports as one of the youngest persons to make that list. Uh, 30, meaning literally the top, the most influential 30 people in track and field or sports in general who are under the age of 30. So making the Forbes list is a huge deal, whether it's for money, influence, etc. So um, for Shakira Richardson, the hips, hits just keep on coming. Now this young lady, Brittany Anderson, is Jamaica's national 100 meter hurdles record holder. Uh, she's an incredible talent, but the young man she's sitting beside in the picture, Omar McLeod, is a phenom in terms of the men's 110 meters hurdles, but we really haven't seen much of him in the last two, almost three years. Now, they're both being coached by the same coaching 
team. And uh, I don't know if we told you that Omar McLeod once again changed coaches. I mean, he's changed coaches more often than anyone else. So um, they all seem to they've gone out they were the, her, herself Brittany Anderson Omar McLeod and the rest of the team plus their coach and the coaching staff um, they're somewhere in Italy we just wanted to share two of our greats a rising great and a living legend because Omar McLeod is a living legend people regardless he is a living legend in the 110 meters hurdles uh, out on the town we thought you might want to see this When Brittany Anderson joins the fray again in the women's 100 meter hurdles, she's going to change the entire, uh, she's going to shift the hurdles universe because I do think she is not only a medal hopeful, she can take that gold. Jamaica can get back-to-back -back goals. Brittany Anderson could be one of the persons. Of course, you know, we have Daniel Williams. We have young Karika Hill. We have the remarkable young Akira Nugent. I mean, we we have a plethora of super female hurdling talent coming from this country. And don't forget Megan Tapper. Do not take out of the conversation. Now, on to this young man, the great Omar McLeod. We haven't seen much of him, like I said, for the last two years. We know that he went through some really... Uh, he lost, I think it was his cousin or someone he was very, very close to, and it really impacted him. And uh, we talked about this in a previous video that people do not just recover from emotional trauma overnight or in a couple of weeks. It takes sometimes many, many years. And I think this is one of the reasons we have not seen him active on the scene for the last two to almost three years. We are hoping that he recovers because the truth is a year or two or three technically off an athlete is a huge disadvantage. And we have to be honest, people, there's a plethora of talent coming up. Uh, Parchment is only getting better. Uh, Rashid Broadbell is incredible. Uh, there's so much. I mean, there's so many young talent. Orlando uh, Bennett, I believe. There's, there's a whole heap of Jamaican male sprinting talent. Look, Jamaica actually has a, a real opportunity. This is, I'm not just saying this, an honest to goodness opportunity of sweeping the men's 100 meter hurdles. The truth is the only person who can stand in our way to do this is the remarkable four-time 110 meter hurdles world champion. Um, have to give him his due people, Grant Holloway of the United States, but we can actually sweep. Um, so I really am curious to see what's going to happen with Omar McLeod when he tries to get back in. We saw him racing, I think, uh, in 2022. He was okay. Uh, then he just sort of disappeared from the scene again. And of course, you know what happened in 2021. So uh, good to see him here. He looks healthy. He looks fit. He's clearly training. Um, I'm a little personally concerned with him jumping from coach to coach to coach. That is never a very good sign for the athlete. It could mean that he's just not connecting with the coaches, but it's also not good for the athlete because you need to be stable at home. You need to find that right chemistry with someone. And it could also mean that he himself is not mentally settled, you know. Um, it's just kind of strange to see him jumping from coach to coach, but good to see him out himself and Brittany Anderson look like they're having fun. Love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens, bless up.